you had sound like this that you've just had a while ago being emitted by a laptop a computer like this one you've just had this is what is happening to this hp probook 440 generation 7 laptop and uh, it's also emitting that very sound that we would like to solve right now me and you let's follow through with the Apollo diversity solutions to excellency let's dig in and see how we can solve that problem of that sound being emitted directly as you've just had solutions to excellency Apollo diversity Now, there are many factors that would lead to that kind of sound being emitted by a laptop. Uh, factor number one could be because of the dust which is inside, inside the laptop, generated or has just built up inside the laptop. And it's trying to block the fan, block the system, aeration. So, and in the end, it ends up uh, obstructing the operations of the computer or rather the laptop. And then it, in, in return, gives you that warning sign. That's why you have to hear that sound. And it, uh, reason number two, it could be because of overheating. If, uh, in case it blocks the fan, in case those, uh, the dust blocks the fan, it uh, makes the fan malfunction. And in the end, it gives you that, uh, the laptop becomes overheating. And in the end, it gives you that sound, that emitting sound. Then uh, number two, it could be a hardware problem where we have uh, maybe the, uh, maybe it has, it's, it's a cause of the, display whereby the monitor has issues with the connectivity but uh, it's a rare case altogether so for a laptop it's uh, normally caused by that hardware problem if it's faulty maybe they had uh, the, the monitor connections are faulty inside it could also emit or rather lead to that sound it could also be a problem of the ram in case the ram is not compatible or rather the one ram stick is having issues in in between the laptop Oh, it's not compatible. It would also lead to that. And still speaking on hardware, it could be a hard, hard drive problem or rather a speaker malfunctioning. Anything with any accessory which is, which is inside and uh, is having a malfunction. So let's dig in and see how we can solve this problem uh, based on what we have, what I've just mentioned, dust, overheating, hardware problem, including RAM, uh, had uh, had disco hard drive SS, uh, SSID which is the solid state hard drive um, solid state drive sorry then also the speaker malfunction and other accessories which are inside the laptop so let's take in and check out how we can solve this and solution number one we are going to open up the laptop so that we can access the interior to find out exactly where the problem would be we'll try diagonizing and seeing how we can solve that problem. With me, Apollo Tivacity Solutions. Let's go. Now for this for this uh, kind of laptop, uh, which is the HP ProBook 440 G7, you just have to open up the cover. And uh, before opening up the cover, we need to know how many screws we are having here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven screws that we need to uh, unscrew to see that we open up the cover of the laptop. So let's start by opening this and we are using a Phillips screwdriver. So as we are done removing the screws, we can now then open the cover to see how we can access the interior. And we are doing this using this presser tool. You can use anything which is uh, slightly uh, smooth and not so harsh or rather hard to block. To 
access the interior of the laptop. Now, this is our interior of the laptop, and uh, if you have to look closely, you realize that the fan is having a lot of dust. It's dusty a bit, which uh, needs blowing or rather cleaning thoroughly so that it can rotate and blow have enough air ratio so in this case for for our laptop it's the dust but it could be anything else it could be the uh, the battery having issues or it could be the even the hard drive which is the hard disk here or it could be the ram itself in case it is the ram we can always just change the ram sticks and check out so let's just uh, try to do all of them so that we know exactly so that we get rid of the problem exactly now in this case before we do anything on this laptop we need to first remove or rather disconnect the power which is the battery and uh, we do that by just unscrewing this and uh, there, are two there are two screws there is this second one here that hold the that hold the battery and uh, once we are done removing the the, the the two screws we can then disconnect or remove the battery which is this one here so once we are done with that we can then see how we can remove the fan or if not we can just uh, disconnect the fan and see how we can have it cleaned thoroughly so for the fan we can use these two screws this first one and then the second one here so once we are done we can get the fan off but remember it's having uh, this uh, silo tape which is uh, joining it with the heat sink or rather the cooling sink so we can just chop off here chop it off then before you do that you have to also disconnect the fan itself and uh, this is how we should disconnect it off. And just disconnect it. Just have to be gentle. You have to be gentle. Or disconnecting the fan. So this is our fan. We realize that it's having a lot of dust and it's clogged inside. So it needs thorough cleaning and uh, blowing so that it can move and operate very well. So let's proceed and see that it is cleaned thoroughly well. So we get this cleaning brush and uh, ensure that we clean up this uh, aeration point which is uh, the connection pipes, uh, the, uh, the cooling pipes connecting to the heat sink and also ensure that there are no blocked holes and uh, we get rid of the dust or rather the dust which is in. Then also we need to get the blowing machine to blow off the dust which could have entered inside and have affected the fan. So let's clean our fan here to ensure that it's free of dust and no blockage is seen anywhere. So Let's get the blower and see how we can blow this off.
So once we are done blowing, we can now then put back our fan, connect it back and see whether we have solved the problem for that. So we start off by connecting it back, connecting back the fan. It's connecting point. So we start off by pulling back the fan screws. The first one. And then we we'll put the second one back as well. Now we'll put the second one back. Now you realize that there was uh, this uh, tape that was put here to hold firm the fan and the cooling pipes. So we put back still another, I'm putting this masking tape to help me keep it firm. And in a, a very conducive position. So once I'm done with that, I can then put back my uh, battery, connect back the battery. So in case it in case we find out that it is a different problem, we can still change these other parts. But for now, we are first testing because we have discovered that it is therefore having a lot of dust inside. So let me put back the uh, the battery, that fan screw where it's supposed to go. So we get this other one and connect it. Put it here then we get the third one that holds the battery and connect it here so once we are done we can then put back our cover this our cover we can then fix it back gently its fitting position and ensure that it is put in its position firmly. And we tighten the screws. Putting into consideration that uh, for this kind of laptop, the HP ProBook 440 Generation 7. Uh, these first five screws don't go out. Uh, they don't go out the screw or uh, the casing. It is only these last two, these last two that go out when you are opening up or rather removing the screw. So we can put them back. Once we, and once we are done putting them back, we can then open the laptop and see the real behavior. Let's see how it behaves. So I've turned it on and still we still get that sound. Meaning that Now you realize uh, it's it's irritating sound. It's irritating sound. It is irritating sound. It is irritating sound. Now you realize that uh, it's still giving us the sound after us ruling off the fan, uh, cleaning off the fan, meaning that it's a different problem that we need to look into. So let's do the real process of opening, checking. Of course, it's tiresome, but let's first get out, get rid of all the possible reasons why we are having that sound being emitted. So for the fan side, now we are sure that it's not the fan, so let's do check for another item. So I will proceed and uh, unscrew, I will proceed and unscrew or rather open the casing. So I think it would be a good idea if we had uh, first tested before tightening the screws so that we'll be sure but anyway we are here we're not going nowhere let's first finish up this problem then we shall celebrate later right all right so i will 
All right. Now this time round, let's let's uh, now this time round, let's first test without having the battery in. Let's remove the battery and see whether it could be the one having the problem. In case we get that sound, very sound back, then we shall know that. Oh my God, we have indeed different issues with the battery. So I'm getting the battery off. I'm getting the battery off to see and try to start or rather turn it on when there is no battery. So we're going to put it on direct charge and see whether we don't have that hitting sound. So I've removed the battery. This is the battery, inner battery. It's always an internal battery. And uh, let's try to cover it uh, with our casing and see whether we still get that problem. So here we are. Once I'm done covering it, I can get the charger and connect it directly, then power on to see whether we still get the same problem. So I will switch it on and still giving us the same problem. So it's the same between problem coming up. So it's the same between problem coming up, meaning that the battery is also isolated and it's also okay. So let's go and test another another item. This time around, let's go and test the RAM stick. So uh, on opening still, and uh, checking on the RAM. Let's first get the RAM stick out and also have it cleaned and also clean the the, the RAM port, the, uh, rather the RAM slot. And uh, it's a DDR4 RAM, uh, RAM. So let's clean the slots and see how we can have this solved. So I'll clean this. And in this case, I'm going to change to a different stick and also maybe adding this very one and see or rather adding another one and see whether we get to the real problem so uh, this is the ram the ram stick which was uh, which, which we've just removed and uh, i want to replace it with this new one and see if it can work it's uh, the same type of ddr4 and it's all 8gb so the old one is 8gb and the new one is 8gb so let's try with the new one and see whether we don't have any problem at this point. So let's fix it in and see whether it can solve our problem. So in this case, I will just connect it there and then get my cover and then fix it back gently and put its fitting position and ensure that it is position firmly and we tighten the screws so let us see how it behaves after replacing and changing RAM to see how it behaves so we shall uh, switch it on from the power button and see uh, how it behaves so you, you realize that it has not given us that sound once again. So that is how you can troubleshoot a laptop, which is uh, mostly this is a HP Pro Book 4409 and uh, G7. So you can do that to any other laptop as long as it's giving you that sound. You can always troubleshoot and see where the problem is. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for supporting the Oppo Diversity Solutions. See you next in the next video as we troubleshoot and see how we can help the world. Solutions to Excellency Oppo Diversity. Thank you and cheers. Bye-bye.